Hey guys, it's Emma here and I have my recent reads favourite read for June. As always, I've got my Goodreads app here, so let's just get into it. So the first uh, book I read was from my Abominable Book Club package and that was The Tangle. And then I read the other book from that package in the Abominable Book Club package, which was The Hollow Kind. And then I picked up a Batman book recently from Amazon just to get my uh, total up so I could get the free shipping. So I read Batman Arkham Knight, the official novelization, and that's that Arkham Knight game. Uh, so I read that. And then I read um, a graphic novel collection that my partner got me for my birthday, I think it was, which was Joe Hill, the graphic novel collection. Then another couple of books from my Abominable book club, I think. So that was Sister Maiden Monster. And The Trees Grew Because I Bled Their Collected Stories. The next one I read was, I think, one that I had bought um, a while ago. I was looking for a short read to get me to the end of that week, I think so it was. That was Drakenfels, which is a vampire uh, Genevieve novel from... Um, Kim Newman, I think there's quite a few of them. I think I've read one or two that feature that character before and I picked that one up. It's been sitting there for years, um, but yeah, I was looking for something small and it's a small read. The next thing was from my box of stories, um, my sci-fi box of stories box, and that was Wolf's Mate. And then also from that same box, I read The Light Years. Then I read a omnibus that my partner had also got me for my birthday I think which was the uh, animosity omnibus and then the last thing I read in June was a book that I borrowed from a friend at work and that's Michael Jackson the magic the madness the whole story so again it wasn't too bad I didn't read too many things but that Michael Jackson book is like over 700 pages so that took me the rest of that to be like a week to read um and yeah, there was a lot of things that I didn't love this month. Um, so a couple of ones I want to, or well, one actually, just one I want to shout out before I give the my favourite one was The Hollow Kind, which was in my Abominable Book Club package, as I say. Um, it was the one that had actually come damaged, so I had to get another one from them. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed that one. It was really good, uh, just not quite as good as my favourite pick. So my favourite read for the month of June was that Michael Jackson book, Michael Jackson, The Magic, The Madness, The Whole Story by J. Randy Taraborelli. Um, he is a journalist and basically it's just a biography of Michael Jackson. It's been, um, I, I can show you, I've actually got it here. Uh, so that is the cover there, which you'll have already seen. And that's how big it is. <laughs> it is over 700 pages long. It is very big. It has been revised um quite a few times so i think it originally came out in 1991 i think let me just yeah so it was first published in 1991 um, and then it's been updated a few times um so this includes like the rest of his life up to his death so it was 1991 and then 2003 2004 and then 2009 so there he passed away so it was fascinating um i love michael jackson's music whatever you think of the guy himself I think his music is amazing but I just know the songs that I know I don't really know much about the backstory or anything like that um, apart from all the you know obviously the, in the later years stuff in the media um, but yeah it was just fascinating it starts with his early years it just chronicles his whole life basically and as I say it's been updated so it's up to his death um, but it starts when he's a little kid in Gary, Indiana, and his brothers become, him and his brothers become the Jackson 5, and all the way through uh, from, I didn't know that, uh, like, when they left Motown, they couldn't keep their name the Jackson 5, so they had to be the Jacksons when they signed to Epic, uh, and I didn't know that Michael had done four albums himself before he did that Off The Wall album, so yeah, I just found it absolutely fascinating. Um, I would say though the I probably wish I had like read the first edition and just stopped at 1991 because after that there's like the 1993 allegations and then the 2000 and 
three and, or and four or something allegations as well that was all over the media obviously um and it's just like upsetting to read about uh, whether you believe it or not either way it's quite upsetting to to read about it kind of just spirals downhill from there so i kind of wish i hadn't read the updated version but i find the whole thing fascinating i learned so much that i had no idea about um and i've gone into like a deep dive on spotify of like every single album from the jacksons michael jackson jackson five like everything and i'm making up my like playlist of favorite songs um from all that so i'm kind of like still steeped in the jacksons i'm trying to like claw my way out of it because i've just got their songs in my head over and over and over um but yeah as i say it, i kind of sound it sounds like i'm dissing it but like i really found this fascinating um just to learn all these things that i didn't know so i would definitely recommend this if you are not into reading biographies and things like that i don't normally read them but if you're not into that i would suggest the hollow kind it's a horror book i really i really enjoyed it but it was just this one was just sucked me in completely and i was just fascinated that one was really good but it didn't give me as much of a reaction as this book but yeah as i say it is quite long so your mileage may vary but uh, yeah, that is it. That is it for this one, guys. That is my favourite book for June. This is one I would recommend you read. Um, but that is it. So any comments, leave them down below. Share with your friends. Give it a thumbs up. And I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.